Hi, I'm Mike Stanton. It's February 5th. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update. I'm here with Dan Bingham and David Yoon from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. Uh, thank you for being here, gentlemen. Uh, Dan, let's uh, start with you and talk about what happened in the market. Uh, record low ratios between the Muni and Treasury markets, uh, continued outperformance by Muni bonds. What's driving that? Yeah, continuation of the same. You know, we pass over Groundhog's Day, and I think that's uh, the appropriate uh, holiday because uh, a lot feels the same. Um, you know, uh, unemployment came out this morning, uh, 49,000 of non-farm uh, payrolls. Um, the bigger uh, part of the number, the uh, unemployment rate dropped from 6.7% to 6.3%, continuing, continuing the benefits um, that we've seen on that component of the, of the number. 10-year um, treasuries and 30-year treasuries continue to grind a little bit higher. It's, it's pretty steady. Um, growth that we've seen there with the 30-year treasury currently at 1.958, um, so getting awfully close to the 2% level, um, you know, still very uh, low in a historical sense, but I think there's uh, some, uh, some view that the 2% level could cause some, a little more volatility on that side of the equation. The tax exempt market, uh, as you touch on the ratio, 10-year ratio is just about 60%. The 30-year ratio is at 72.5%, uh, both plumbing record lows. Um, and it's hard really to see much uh, change in that. You know, every, everyone talks about the, it's the bus that you don't see that you, get, you have to worry about. Um, but as you talk to market participants in here, um, it's, ve it's very hard to see any kind of real dramatic change. You've got uh, issuance this week expected at eight, eight and change billion. Um, inflows this week came in at 1.5 uh, in change billion, down a little bit from last week, but still meaningful inflows. Um, you know, and all the all the technical factors are pointing to more of the same. Um, you know, the, probably the biggest thing uh, market participants are looking at right now is the prospect of the 1.9 uh, trillion stimulus coming out of uh, Congress. Uh, the Senate sounds like they've uh, uh, cured uh, a process where they could pass it on a 50-50 vote, um, and whether the House passes it uh, remains to be seen, but it looks like it's more promising, and with that pretty dramatic stimulus to states and cities, which would be good from a credit point of view. All right, and you are, I think, starting to hear uh, just the very start of people talking about the uh, potential impact of higher tax rates down the road, making munis more attractive to refer to that, uh, you know, that it's starting to pick up a little bit. Right? Yeah, and in, in counterintuitive sense, you could actually see corporate taxes go up, individual tax rates go up, um, but with the ratio where it is, it's, it's really um, touching levels that you could actually see a back off uh, of the muni market or underperformance of the muni market even if you were to push through higher corporate and individual rates. So, Solid point. Um, so David, let's talk about how that transitioned into the new issue market. As, as Dan mentioned, it's, uh, it's healthy, uh, just under $10 billion, uh, a little bit shorter though of what people might've expected coming into this year. Right, so to uh, kickstart uh, the month of February, the muni market saw uh, about eight and a half billion of supply, which is relatively flat week over week. Um, of that total supply, uh, we at BAM actually insured 22 series for a total par of $285 million. Um, some of those highlights include the $82 million Westland Michigan POVs by Huntington. And uh, what we heard on our desk is that the feedback was that insurance was very helpful there. Um, and then there was a BAM Green Star $38 million Vallejo California water transaction by Piper. And uh, two other BAM Green Star transactions in California, Oxnard Water and Alley Saw School District COPs. And, uh, you know, it's really good to see um, BAM continue to make strides in the kind of Green Star ESG world uh, as we, you know, continue to kind of press forward on that front. Right, and we were looking at some of the data. So for the month of January, 2020, one year ago, there was just one BAM Green Star deal, it was about $10 million. This year for the month of January, there were 11 uh, worth about $86 million. So you definitely see progress uh, with issuers uh, and investors recognizing the value of uh, ESG investments and, uh, and, and starting to be rewarded for it. Um, looking ahead to this week, uh, again, a fairly similar total calendar, what stands out to you? Yeah, that's right. So, uh, you know, we're gonna see um, as of this morning, we're going to see, uh, we saw about like 9 billion of supply for next week. Um, about two thirds of that will 
uh, again, kind of be concentrated in the larger deals, far size greater than 100 million. Um, some of those names include New York MTA, uh, who's issuing $700 million across three series, um, University of Washington, University of Maryland, and uh, the Maryland uh, dot BWI um, airport. Um, so, you know, you have all those large issuers coming to market. And then um, kind of on our watch, uh, we're estimating about um, somewhere north of $200 million in BAM insured par. Um, you know, a notable name is the $40 million California Vista USD and the $32 million Spring Hill, Kansas School District by Raymond James. Thanks. And uh, that BWI deal will be worth watching. I know that's been approved for insurance by BAM. Uh, we're waiting to see whether uh, it'll get used. So those numbers uh, could change. It's not included in the current uh, calendar. Great. Well, thanks uh, for your time, gentlemen. Uh, good luck next week, and uh, we'll see you then. Great. Thanks, Michael. Thanks, Mike. When the market is unpredictable, BAM gives you certainty. In the face of market volatility and illiquidity, BAM insured municipal bonds deliver default protection, value preservation, and a durable AA rating from S&P. BAM's insurance protects against everything that causes a default, and adding BAM insured municipal bonds to your portfolio is easy. Talk to your investment advisor, visit buildamerica.com, or look for BAM eligible bonds on the Perform Portfolio Management System. BAM. Build America Mutual.